that's your thing. I'm trying to score 40 every game. Right, right. I'm trying to do that at 40. <laughs> it be a struggle, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ain't take my IP Pro. <laughs> I like that shirt. I like that shirt, man. It's a nice shirt. It. I appreciate it. From yours truly, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. My man took me up and my name on the back. You know what I'm saying? I feel special. Hello. That's, how I get one of those? That, that's over with. Oh, that's one to one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But okay. next go around, so it's going to be three So it's gonna be three different middle class raps. This the first one, which is stuck between the job and the dream. The second one going to be balling on a budget. And then I don't know what the third one going to be at. So it'll so be another run. Yeah, okay. It is. It's so, be three. so explain to them. And to him, how the shirts came about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, just, again, streams is dead. You know what I'm saying? At least right now, maybe it'll be a time where, like, you can get some, some type of bread that make it make sense. But right now, it don't. And so, in order to, you know, raise the bread, in order to do what I'm trying to do, we had to come up with something that made sense. And so, what we did was we just we made a combo package where you get the album, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You get a, a ticket to whatever A game show you want to come to, but you also get this custom one on one shirt. And, you know what I'm saying? Like the people, mind you, it was teared up though. Like, you had to spend a certain amount in order yeah. to, that's what I was, that's yeah. in order yeah. to get that, you know what I'm saying? Like, and again, the people who really supported my situation got the one on one t shirt. So, again, I'm really, I am genuinely appreciative because. Like this whole campaign has really allowed me to uh, do things that I've never personally seen in my career. So I'm very appreciative of, you know what I'm saying, you you know what I'm saying, making that purchase because it, it go a long way. Facts. Facts. It go Facts. a long way. Facts. I, I, when, the, when you pulled up on me, because you said that on your, you did a drop on uh, IG or whatever, he was like, he was pulling up on people who like supported in a major way. Yeah. Dude, just how he popped up like, hey, I'm outside, like, yeah, go get yeah, your yeah. verse and your, and your album. Mm -hmm. and I, I was like, okay. Yeah, Nick, Nick Cass ain't doing that, bro. Like, that's yeah. genuine, dude. Like, you really strategically planning how you putting your work out or whatever. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's hard to me. Like, that leaves a good impression because it makes you want to keep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supporting, like. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then now on top of that, like, Nick, you nice, like, and you from the crib, like, mm -hmm. well, like, yeah. like, what more, like, yeah, bro, like. I got a, I got a question though, and just uh, reiterating on something you said, yeah, because I thought streams was the way to go, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. thought that's how people made their money in music. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know much about music or how yeah, they make yeah. their money, yeah, but I thought streams was the way to go right right, right. As so when you say streaming yeah. is dead mm -hmm. explain it yeah just as an independent artist like just the truth of the matter is you're not typically as an underground artist that nobody knows and again i might be making a buzz but at the end of the day bro I, i'm unknown uh -huh. and so because of that the streams don't get you no money like you got to get in order to get like you know what I'm saying like a couple thousand dollars you got to get a million streams on 
one record. One record. And that's okay. Just, that's, okay. That's rare. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like you might, I might put out my best song and get online five thousand streams max. Sometimes right. less. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm not I got getting you. any bread from that. Versus hand to hand. Like you know, whenever I have events or like tonight when I go perform, I'm selling the album. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Forget right. the streams. Let me get twenty dollars. Like, right. Because it's gonna go. It's gonna actually go. A long way, you know what I'm saying, for my career and like waiting around for the to hopefully go viral, it's not gonna cut it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You end up quitting before you know what I'm saying. You go viral. So basically, the 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 big rappers make their money yeah. with stream. It's yeah. okay for them because they got for sure for sure. And, he, and even still, if you, it was like an article or an interview or something that Snoop Dogg recently put out, man, he, I seen that. He streamed. I didn't see that. He streamed a, a whole bunch, and he only got you know what I'm saying like a very very small amount of money. So if you imagine. Snoop Dogg saying that. Man. Uh -huh. Think about even people who are, you know, they might have a Man. buzz, but they not Snoop Dogg. Right. Man. It ain't no way that they get in, you know what I'm saying? Again, I got the, the line on Million Dollar Mission, you know, these rappers ain't as rich as they pretend to be. It's all imagery, just marketing for some extra streams. But these boys ain't getting no bread. Not, not. Hold on, say that again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Run that back. <laughs> <laughs> like these rappers ain't as rich as they pretend to be. It's all imagery, just marketing for some extra streams. Oh, that boy, nice. And it's just, and it's just the truth, you know what I'm saying? It's just the truth of the matter. And this is, like, moving forward for artists. Like, this is the wave, you know what I'm saying, to go back to physical, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, product, hand-to-hand, -hand, yep. actually building the base. I keep, I keep telling him all the time, just anybody who will listen, like, we getting back to the movement era. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day, it was all movements, all the, the hottest – guys was in movements you know what i'm saying either you started the movement or you was a part of a movement but it was all about the movements and they was outside it was hand to hand right. shaking hands kissing Thanks. babies you know what i'm saying they section had it the live is like yeah that's how it was and it's about to get back to that just because now the marketplace so flooded you know what i'm saying man. like mm -hmm. oh my God. everybody too, dropping you know what yeah man? it's it's oversaturated like man. it's annoying really because i can't keep up with everything it's impossible and i love music i like mm -hmm. i like everything i'm Eclectic when it comes to me. I listen to every fucking thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mark was uh, playing uh, a ghost out, ghost our cameraman. He was just playing before, you know. Yeah, yeah, Reggie yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He playing Sister Nancy. I bet you a lot of people don't even know who that is. I don't like, know who that is. That's what I'm saying. But if you hear the song, <laughs> yeah, you know the song. You know the song. Okay. If you hear it, you be like, oh, okay. But it's just that's how I am with music, and yeah. but it's just it's. Money, yeah, it's too, much. Yeah. it's too much. It's too much. Again, so you gotta distinguish yourself, and you gotta, I've been able to. That, I've been able to, that, you know, really create my. Yeah. And, the, and yeah. the funny thing is, it's ebbs and flows, and you know they say history repeats itself. I mm -hmm. ain't the first person to have a physical CD, Facts. but in 2020 or 2024, excuse me, that's not happening. You know what I'm saying? Flyers, that. physical CDs, that's not a thing no more. Right. Like, it's, it's rare that a rapper in particular is passing you a flyer or a CD. That's not happening right now. So I'm really setting myself apart from people even just like what's funny is a lot of people they ain't even opening this thing like i might sell it they keep it in a pack i'm like yeah. i'm mm -hmm. like bro, listen to it but no nah, but they like they like it as a keepsake but that, does that bother you or are you or are you like no you I, bought it it's cool on no. you. i mean obviously i made the music and i put my heart and soul into it so exactly. i wanted to listen to it exactly but i also understand that like they some people don't even know what they got in their hands right now, man. Right. This, this is a classic body of work that I think that uh, it won't get the recognition until, you know, we take it up a notch. And mm -hmm. then they're going to be like, it's going to be so cool because they're going to be like, I got it first. Yeah. I had the facts. Man. I facts. got it from him. <laughs> they'll be like, what? You know what I'm saying? So it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a difference. So even if they're not necessarily uh, listening all the way or tuned all the way in, I know that there's going to come a moment where my name gets so hot, they like, shh. Let me put this in and see what he actually talking about, cause yeah, everybody can't be talking about this guy for no reason. Yeah. So normally, normally when we do these, we normally have some just chit chat. Yeah. But I liked how we uh, kind of just jumped into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, cause I'm gonna learn a lot about you today. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's a, it's you know, honestly, it's just some things I'm unfamiliar yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. You know, so let's take it back to the beginning. Okay. Let's take it back to. Yeah. How you got started? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, see, pause. I was gonna ask that, but see, I like when my man, my, hey, he wakes up. <laughs> yeah, he wakes I woke up. I'm intrigued. Yeah, we here. We here. I'm intrigued. Uh, we here. He wakes up. Yeah. I thought I was gonna carry the whole show, but 
Yeah. 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 I'm intrigued at the yeah. moment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I'm gonna go all the way back, wherever you want to start. I mean, but like, I, I really, you know, I think everybody end up having like, you know, slight musical backgrounds where your family might have been. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who around you? They oh, making actually, music. Okay. Uh, in, even in the what church, the you know, here in St. Louis, everybody went to church when you was young. You know, what I'm saying? back in the day, you just Thanks. it just is what it is. You wasn't going not going to church. Right. So you naturally, you might I sang in a church choir, like never took it serious and then like that. My grandma tried to make me learn the piano mm -hmm. again, didn't take it serious. Cause, I definitely you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to play a saxophone. I played the trombone. Uh, I used to play an alto. <laughs> I used to play an alto <laughs> saxophone, and I ended up being good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I stopped playing it because it wasn't cool. It wasn't cool. Oh, that's yeah. why I, I put that, that trombone. So yeah. to me, bro. bro I, I, it was a mistake cool. that yeah, I made. Absolutely. Yeah. I hate peer pressure, bro. Yeah, it yeah. was a mistake yeah. that yeah. I made. I see me. Yeah. I, I don't care, bro. I was, I was the laughing stock. I, I yeah. was, I don't care, bro. I hate that. But, but a trombone just yeah. not cool though. Like I had a trombone, bro. And like you know what I'm saying, like a trombone. Man, that like, mug. And I'm in sixth, so seventh cool grade, right carrying this big ass. No, nah, <laughs> what it wasn't, wasn't going. But you know what I'm saying. I, I definitely it, it wasn't the thing. But I always like you know uh, cared about music. I, you know my my parents just always say if you knew your your grades or you knew your schoolwork like you knew them songs you'll be a straight A uh, student. Mm -hmm. you, you know you so yeah. But uh, you know what I'm saying. But uh, my dad, I mean he he always talk about like you know I'm from the north side so around our block whatever I, I'll be rapping against grown men. He always he always talk about it where like he'd just be like get him. Yeah, and I'm just so he, rapping. I'm just okay. yeah, yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. ever since I was young, my my pops had me on like a, what was it like acid early on. You know that uh producer outlet or uh the you know what I'm saying. Pro. You know what I'm saying acid pro <laughs> all that in the beginning. Uh, but honestly, it wasn't until college my freshman year when it got serious. Mm -hmm. Cause up to that point, I honestly, I didn't think that rap was realistic. Mm -hmm. I remember like being in, in class, I uh, was in journalism at Gateway. And I just thought like, yeah, I'll probably like try to write about famous people. Cause mm -hmm. that seemed realistic to mm -hmm. write about them. Like, facts, facts, especially facts. being from here. It, obviously we had Nelly, but again, that's an anomaly. That didn't feel like something I could do too. That was, that that just was tangible. Felt, yeah, it didn't feel like yeah, I could do that as like well. Actually, yeah, but I could write about them. Like, yeah. that's something I could probably do. Like, mm -hmm. I could write about them. But then one day, my homeboy, uh, Lou MC Trey, uh, he was working out of a studio and gave me the invite. And I had recorded two records, and they just sounded good mm -hmm. and i felt like i was a de i'm a decent judge of good music and right. what sound good Shout and i was like too, it's my brother yeah. i was like man this kind of sound good mm -hmm. it's been a rap since then mm -hmm. and then i think it was one other it was two other moments that i think was like career defining i uh i, I went to la for a brief moment in time and it was just a lot of different things that happened in my in my time i was like oh i think i might be built for this but one thing happened in, in, in uh uh st louis but columbia in particular i got to open up for j cole Mm. Early in my career, yeah. uh, Como. Yep, Como. Columbia, Missouri. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He, okay. Uh, he, he performed. It was when this was Friday light. Friday night lights. J Cole. J, J. Cole. Yeah. And Corey, please. Uh, y'all know Corey. Yeah, he, Corey. Yeah, he was yeah. the one Shout who actually. Corey, yeah. Corey. He actually was yeah. the one who uh, gave me the alley oop to perform on there. But this was my first be, time. Corey be looking out, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. He be looking out, dude. Yeah, like, so J Cole was wasn't on yet. No, he was on. Oh, okay. Friday Night Lights. See, I ain't, yeah. I ain't familiar, so yeah. I'm asking. He was definitely, yeah, yeah. He was a god this time. Like, <laughs> he was a god. Like, that concert, that was, still to this day, was one of the craziest top, concerts top, yes, like I've bro. been a part of. What was it, at Mizzou or yeah, something? it was at Mizzou. Okay. It was at Mizzou. I'm talking okay. about thousands of people. Okay. And that was the most people I ever been in front of. I was super nervous. I was prepared, but I was very nervous. Now, when I look back on it, I'm like, man, this performance was horrible. But for the time of my life and my career, it was amazing. Like, I, I got the footage where, like, you could just hear my interactions with the crowd and just how they responded. I remember I uh, I did a flow, I called it the M-I-Z flow, but I had a line where I was like, uh, you say you fly, but what's a Jayhawk to a tiger, huh? The crowd erupted. Mm -hmm. They erupted, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm meant for this. That like, was that was perfect. I'm meant, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just strategically doing it. Yeah. And they just erupted. Yes. Like, and so it's, you know, them like moments early in your career. But, yeah, man, I feel like I, I was always around it, but it wasn't until college I was like, I think I might could do this. Mm -hmm. And I actually ended up dropping out of school in order to start pursuing it. And mm -hmm. it's, it's just been a rap since. So you, you did go to Como. 
Uh, hey, I was an honorary uh, Mizzou student. I actually oh, went to uh, West. I went to Westminster. Like it was like an hour. It was like an hour up the road. I only did three semesters there, but I had a, I had a good time there. But uh, I was definitely at Mizzou a lot though. So look, I was at Mizzou a lot. You said, man, who wasn't? Right, right, right. I was at Mizzou. I met so many people up there. Like just yeah. going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, That college town is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you say you from. Cause I always hear you say you from the north. Yeah, yeah. Where exactly yeah, are yeah. you from? Twenty thirty four East Hurst. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I'm just straight across. Harris, this straight yeah. across the street from O'Fallon yeah, Park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can straight walk to it. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. Literally, like across the street, you yeah. walk out of your home, and I'm in a park. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I grew up, grew up on uh, East Hurst, uh, Marcus and Lee, Shreve and Penrose, mm-hmm. Hammett Place. Uh, really, all, all you all north side. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Again, what's so funny is, like, Sexy Red is three blocks up the road, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen her recording one of her early videos, like, right when she was, like, I seen they, they whole block was, like, lit up. And I was like, damn, this is beautiful. But, Sexy um, Red, big north side, too, huh? Yeah, that's she big north side. She the biggest. She the biggest. She the biggest. For sure, for sure. What you think about Sexy Red? I love Sexy Red. I get so many opinions about right, her. Right, right, right. I think, you know. I already know what he about to say. I, I, I love her. I love her to death. I think, you know, I get it. When people say whatever they say, opposite of, you know, she great, I get it. Uh-huh. I understand, you know what I'm saying? But I always say you got to ask the other question. It's like, what creates a person like that? You know what I'm saying? What about the environment creates this this person? You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. we come from a, 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 a tough but also, you know what I'm saying, we come from a place where we don't, we don't got a lot of resources, bro. It ain't no schools on the north side. Right. Like, you they can't. They close them all yeah, down. There's, like, you nah, don't have a school there, you know what I'm saying? And that really means something, like, because it's a lot of kids in that community who straight ain't going to school. Like, after a certain grade, you probably ain't going to school no more. Right. Like, or, you know, the, the percentages yeah, of you going. Don't think about that. There yeah. really ain't no schools no, on the north side. Beaumont ain't there. Only oh, <laughs> thing left is what? Sumner? Exactly. That's it. But no elementary, no. turn a middle close, Scullin, all them schools are closed. Oh, bro. Yeah. You say can't get an education on the north side. I never thought about that, bro. Yeah. You 100% correct. Man. Yeah. No, and I want to change those type of things. Like, that stuff matter to me, like, because it is my environment. And, you know, like, I don't, like, want to be there. And it's like, man, you don't want to be there. Like, right. no. Right. I want to be there and be happy about it. And, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? See the people that's of my and from my community, you know what I'm saying, be able to have opportunities and and be their best selves. And you you need certain things. Like but but going back to your question though, I love Sexy Red. I think that um we haven't seen something like that in a while. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that um she is who she is. She's a, a a very outspoken, genuine human being. I think that she she got Blakeyana on tour. Right. She didn't That's have hard to me, she right. didn't have to do that. We talk about that all the time. She yeah. don't have to do she that. She don't like you know what I'm saying. And right. I think that we we know that our like at least from the males, our males are not doing stuff nah. like that. Yeah. It ain't no like man, you know what you kind of high or whatever the case may be. Come on, and it's and it's like loud. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Mm-hmm. She gave Blakeyana a verse. When Pound Town was out, like, she didn't have to do that, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I think that no matter what the opinions of her is, like, you got to look at that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Her character. And she, like, really doing important things for people. So, I got the utmost respect for her. I hope that one day we get to work. Mm -hmm. Please, please, sexy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They could could never make me. Never make me hate. Never make me hate Big Sexy. So, shout out Sexy Red. Yeah, I love love Sexy. I used to be riding through St. Louis in the scat. Yeah, so that that part always resonated with me. Yeah. So yeah, she she doing her thing. Big shout yeah, out, sexy it. red. Yeah. So look, I, I I wanted to ask this. Yeah. What what uh, how did the first shout out Ron Indiana Ron? That's my yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, shout yeah. out Ron. Yeah. That's my brother. Yeah. yeah. Dope uh, dealers. How did what inspired that? Collab, bro. Like, how, where that comes from? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 do, yeah. Like, do you outside of rap? You do you know, bro? Uh, like. I can't say that like we hang out all right. of the time, but we cool. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right, but uh, right. but actually the way it came about is, uh, shout out to Legend Camp. Uh, okay. we actually yeah. he uh, had a song. He came to Atlanta. And we went to Rome's studio to record. Right. And basically, Rome, you know, you naturally. You know that's where he at. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we had already, we had 
did something at some point. So I'd already had recorded with him, but again, we hadn't really been working. Right. But anyways, Legend Camp had his situation. We went to wrong spot to record and just on some favor for a favor because he ain't charged us to record. He was like, but hook me up with the verse. Duh. All right, so I, I took that back home and did that. But then when I came back to his crib to record it, that went so fast and so smooth. And, I, and I'm already like, the next two quarters, particularly, the word or the phrase for me is overproduce. Man. So I'm in that bag mm -hmm. right now where I'm, I'm right. overproducing. Man. And in the spirit of overproduction, That's I was like, well, let's do another one. Thing, let's do another one. Right. I recorded one. And, my, and I'm talking about it was eight hours at best of mm -hmm. us being together. And we, we cracked, we, we did the uh, hung up on my bay. We did uh, y'all some hoes. And we did uh, a pimp name the government in one sit in. And I was like, but I, and I and I told him too when I did the first record, I was like, my only requirement when we do this is we gotta hurry up and put it out. Right. I don't want to sit on this. Sit we don't on need me. none of that. That's right. out. Like, yeah. it's, cause it's not helping us. Yeah. It's not helping us. We gotta get this right. out to the people. You right. got people that like you. I got people that like me. Let's get it out to the people and just put it out there. Let's shoot some content. Mind you, the, the content that we shot, I held the camera for him. He held, he held the, the camera, camera for me. You know what I'm saying? My my little homie Bri. My uh, one of my operations manager, her little son, he recorded one of them for us. We put the camera in his hand That's and just, hard, you know man. what I'm saying, just get to it. Like, but That's we overproducing. Up. First off, I just want to say this dude, Ron, man, is an incredible Cre producer, yes, dog. Bro. He actually, yes, bro. he got the sound for my next album. Mm -hmm. So he actually is going yes, he, to. He gonna Balling on Definitely. the budget? No, it, like I'm saying, like, the whole like time. I ain't gonna say it might be every one, but yeah. it's gonna be a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And this sound. And he's he underrated to me. I don't think yeah. he get that push like the other producers here do. Like, mm. dude is dude. He's incredible. So he do it all. Rome yeah, do it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, okay. it all, bro. But it's crazy because he was rapping first. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. see, that's what type of person Rome is. Like, once he start doing something, he's going to go full fledged, bro. Yeah. And he, bro, like, he killing the producers. Yeah. I ain't, rapping is good. I, he nice at rapping, but producing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, you wasn't even it's, it's a next producer level. at first. You it's next level, though. originally was just a rapper. So that's basically just learning music. Bro, that's like, basically but that's like perfecting your craft, He's right? He's eclectic when it comes to And when you like with him, bro. Yeah, his chamber is so loaded of beats, bro. It's kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. he, he really he really clipped up. Like, he clipped up. He liked that. No, he clipped up for shelf for shelf. Let me room. let me let me let me raise these up for a second. Hey Ron, if you see this, you know yeah. you got my man A game. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Let's talk. Wait, what did I say he is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, no, he yeah, 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 we, we can come yeah, to the yeah, yeah, we, go, we can do a little traveling. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta get wrong for purpose. Oh, gotta get wrong. That type of person. So. That's what's up. Oh yeah, yeah, no, nah, man. Nope. But I, I think his he, he a good guy, but his man, his production, like when mm -hmm. I, man, when y'all heard the new man, what if y'all thought? This, and the cool thing is, again, like I keep saying, uh, middle class raps is gonna be it's a universe, so right. it's gonna have three of these. But the second one, balling on the budget, like middle class raps, had its own sound and its own like uh uh like you're getting the whole stuck between the job and the dream, like. But it put me in that though. Yeah. The man. way you articulated this album puts me. Yeah. I'm like I'm working at a job. Yeah. Vibes like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like nah, bro. And that balling on the budget, you yeah. ain't going you going to know that you still work a job, but it's going to feel like Liberal. you know, I'm feeling I'm I'm feeling myself Liberal. a little bit. <laughs> I, I, but I still but I still know where I am. Yeah. I think what happens when, when people start, they forget where they are. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You forget uh, what your life is really like. I it's might, like I might I might can't listen to that song because yeah. the way I be feeling that work, I'm ready to quit at any moment. Oh, yeah, I yeah, might yeah. need to stay away but, from but that song. But you know, song. with this, with this, with, with, now, now with, with middle class, right there, with this one, the stuck between the job and the dream, I don't never make you want to quit your job. Mm -hmm. I actually make you appreciate it more. Okay. And it's just realistic. Like, realistic. it's really realistic That's about, what like, what's going called. on, bro. Realistic rap. Yeah. That's what it should have been called, for real, bro. Like, it is, though. It's, it's very genuine. Like, you could tell, like, I'm in touch with reality and mm -hmm. i think you know a lot of rappers and they don't understand how powerful this thing is but yeah. like yeah. you got to be rooted in reality because first off we all know what the hell going on like we, we know 
what's real and what's not. And you can tell, like, you know, it's, it's 2024 now. But for a while, you couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. it, it was like, is this real? Is this not real? I don't know. Yeah. But now it's like, man, we, we know, bro. Mm -hmm. like, like, and again, like, the cool thing is, like, people know I'm not on. So I don't, and the cool thing about this, I put myself in a situation where I don't have to pretend that I'm on. Mm -hmm. Because I came out that gate and said, it's middle class raps. Like, yeah. this is where I am. I am working a job. Yeah. I'm working a job. So if you, and, and it's the thing, people will try to hold that against you. As a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like, that'll be a thing that people will be like, you got a job? You got a job. <laughs> work, work a day. I ought to see somebody sneak this me the other day. Uh, also, uh, you go find with some, I'll give you a $1,000 if you can find somebody who ever seen me work a job. You proud of that? Like, yeah. right. you was proud of that? Like, right. You don't think that it's okay? Like, how you go and try to insult me because I work? Yeah. Boy, you're crazy. Yeah. As, Boy, a, you're as, crazy. A, as a musician, <laughs> as a musician, a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Why, why do those stories sell faster? What's that? The stories on how you just said, dude said he ain't never worked right, a right, job right, or right, whatever. Right. So I guess he from the street or been right, in the street exactly. or whatever. Why why do those always sell faster? Oh. Like why 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 does our attention gravitate to that right. over something like your project? Because we ain't seen it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I think you know it's been that that stuff has been glorified. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I get it. Exactly. It's a, and it's a I get it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the the thug life, the the gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Like that. It's a we we got a thing for that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, that's an interesting story. But I think we we definitely know in 2024 that ain't the only black story that exists. Right. You know what I'm saying that's right. not the only Man. story that we got to tell. And I, I was and, <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> it just ain't the only story we got to tell, but it ain't popular yet. And somebody got to jump out there and be so confident with the fact that they work a job. Because one, other people going, you know what I'm saying, one just be like, oh, okay, it's cool to have a job. Like, mm -hmm. cause, you know what I'm saying? We talking about how's, how's young, his nephew, you know what I'm saying? Like, they like, you know what I'm saying, young boy. And they gonna end up emulating that, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And it's, it's, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I am providing an alternative to what you think is cool, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, and what is acceptable. And I'm wearing this, you know what I'm saying, like very proudly, and it's working. It's mm -hmm. working, man, and it I just gotta wrong. work it. I just gotta, you know what I'm saying, keep on, yeah. It is wrong when it's negative. Yeah, 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 If yeah. they emulating what's negative, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that puts them in a place we don't want them. Yeah. You know, we don't want kids in right. these type of nah, environments. Nah, nah. So, and I'm, I'm empathetic. I appreciate the alternative that you yeah. know, you're placing upon, you know what I'm saying, the music industry. Like, it, it needs an alternative. Yeah, and we never had a, a rapper who's, like, got big and, like, everybody knew he had a job on the way up. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have not had, like, a... A famous and rapper. You're talking about in general. Yeah, in general. Right, facts, and right. our, our whole time of rap, it's never been, it's not one rapper that we could be like, oh, he was the rapper that worked the job. job. <laughs> we don't have one, so somehow. What about, what about Rick Ross? <laughs> Did, wasn't he, is that true? Was he a CO or something? What? As a, as a job. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, yes. Oh but that was like the is it, but but even even but more he, so. he's never admitted to it though, right? But he did though, he actually did got a, he, he got a lyric. Recently. He got a lyric where he say, It wasn't me, it was a job, nigga. It gets deep without and, and like that was like he his way of slightly, slightly you know, uh -huh. but it's he just, just did an interview where he he agreed. Hmm. But he kinda like finagle. Right, right, right. Because it's not it's nothing like, obviously being a person who you know what I'm saying? If your image and your, your you know, your campaign is around the streets, being a CO don't coincide don't with the coincide. streets. Like, right. It don't, don't make coincide. sense. It don't add right. up. Right. And so somehow, and you know, he was able to bypass that. You know? Somehow he got through. Yeah. <laughs> he was able to bypass yeah. that. No, I rock with Ross. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he right. was able to bypass he, that. He but but you, but you notice everybody, they like, They've cooked him his whole career for that. Uh -huh. still that's still him. like that's a still that's like a permanent you know what I'm saying scar. scar on his on his thing. Now luckily he been able to you know what I'm saying, but Maneuver but him. nobody was like good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nobody mm -hmm. said that, and that's just you know. So, yeah, so, I wouldn't take that job though. No, I wouldn't the either. Project, the, uh, what is it? Three spicy. Yeah, three piece spicy. Three piece. Like what inspired that name, bro? Like, <laughs> just we was just in the yeah 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 we was just in the, we was just in the lab and we was thinking about it and it, it literally was you know just a, just a three piece and it just came through and I'm finna put out a four piece dark soon. 
My boy, shout out my boy Paco Stacks out there in Atlanta right now. He from the crib, but Paco Stacks, we just did a, a four piece dark. And that's a lot. And now that that content where uh, now that's more. You know I'm from the north side. You when, when you hear right, that, right. you be like, oh, okay. He, okay. he, he from the from, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking crazy on yeah, that. Yeah, y'all turned up on that one. Mm-hmm. That, I thought that was, bro, I was like a kid in the candy store. Like, dang, like, two of my favorites, like, tag teaming. Like, it was yeah. almost like. And we need more of that. I think, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think. Talk, when you pull it up, then yeah, yeah, this, yeah, so yeah. we were talking about that. Yeah. Like, how. But we don't like we don't we collab. collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like guys don't. That's be... a hit. That's a lost art here. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. People do if, like... if, I don't even say it's a lost art. That art never started. Like where, I, like I you know what I'm saying. Our our I, our most popular guys don't have record after record after record after record together, I if agree. any at all. You know what I'm agree. saying, if any at all, and that's a problem because what it did was it created a situation where we think it's okay to not do it. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. You all you do is recycle what you know, and since we never seen nobody, the males in particular, collabing on a high level, nobody do it. Nobody feel like it's necessary to work with somebody either on your level or under your level. Where you know what I'm saying? Where you think, and I see it all the time. Where see people get into their situations and they think like, oh, if I if I do something with him, he's gonna gain more than I can gain from it. But it's like so. Like, make the product because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, who cares? Like, who cares? just do the work. Like, because that's how we going to get on and get exactly. rich. That's like, and be up there and out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, exactly. but I, but I, what I learned is I can't just keep saying this. Just go do it. You know what I'm saying? And like, I, I'm in a situation, you know what I'm saying, whatever kind of buzz I got, use it. Right. Like, come on, bro. Like, if I got enough buzz that Rome will allow me in his crib and put me on the beast and give me the beast, that's enough. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't got to be... Maybach drive yeah, and all that. Right, no, but we yeah. got resources. And let's use our resources and put out some good product and then keep putting out product, shoot the content. And again, bro, I keep saying, like, the next two quarters, the, the phrase that pays is overproduce. overproduce. Like, mm-hmm. overproduce. Like, every time it's you turn around, win. new content, new visuals, win, win. all the time. Like, yeah, we can't, it's no loss in there. It's no loss. It's win, no loss win. at all. Like, so it's I'm, like we had, that, we had that issue in. Everything we do, whether it be the music, whether it be brands, yeah, yeah, whether yeah. it be whatever, man, nobody don't want to collab. Everybody, that's, but that's what that's what created my. I'm, I'm sorry. No, you good, bro. What, no, I was. I was yeah, yeah, it's mm. all good. It's all good. Uh, that's what that's what inspired the. Uh, what is it? The uh, creators get. What is that? The creators, creators give. Right. Yeah, that's what exactly. we we. Me and my homeboys. Um, all things retro, cap life brand. Yeah, William, um. Morrison. Free the Gods and yeah. William Morris Fashion Galleries, we started this thing called the Creators Guild. Okay. And basically, it was just come together to where they may know something that I don't know. Or right. I might know something that they don't know. But basically, so we just put it all together. And like right. you said, we use yeah. all our resources yeah, yeah, yeah. and we try to make it a bigger man. outcome. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to the Guild. Yeah, we got to get back go. to uh, what we do. You know, uh, sometimes life, life take right. over, everybody work and all that kind of stuff. But that's our end goal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. we also wanted to try to dive in and, you know, maybe have like meetings or or sit downs with people that were serious about their brands yeah, yeah, yeah. but didn't necessarily have the resources, the resources or yeah. know where to go or know how to do it you yeah. know just just to do stuff like that you yeah, know yeah, but it's, it's very important and i always see it all the time where they say competition is dead collaboration is key yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and it's just like yeah. you said man the resources is there yeah, yeah, yeah. so if we use them together we, we collectively gotta use, we got to use exactly what we got like, right we don't got to like try to go get stuff that we ain't got like no bro like right. okay if we got this situation y'all got a platform for me to be able to you know what i'm saying reach a, a broader audience and mm-hmm. we got to use that you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like and that's all that matter we use this until we can get to the next level but until then we need to exhaust all our options put this content out get out here you know what i'm saying let the people know what we got going on and the rest will take care of itself yeah right. facts. Right. Facts, facts, facts man i'll ask you uh, when you was in a chair or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, was anything off limits? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got, you got yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here for. I'm just here for it. I'm just here for it. Nothing is off limits. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta ask. I got it. Yeah. 
Why did you feel the need to respond against the last debacle you, you yeah. just had? I forget dude's name, but exactly. He, he right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, look, but I'm not gonna lie. Dude, nice though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. Like, shout out, dude. He, he from the crib. I'm, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. What, what, shout out to dude. What, what's, what's my, uh, what's, what's, what is her name? Uh, uh, insecure. Who made insecure? Oh, Issa Rae. And when the when the white lady asked her on the Grammy, she was like, she vote for everybody. That's how I feel. About, I don't care. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Like, that's beautiful. Like, you from beautiful. the crib. I, I <coughs> shout out you. I yeah. don't know your name. STL know, versus I'm, everybody. Yeah. That's where I you at with dude. it. That's, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to that but, situation in, in that moment. I think it was, mind you, I think it was, it was good for everybody, right? Yeah, like was. I think that uh, everybody it was good for him. It was great for him. Nobody knew. Nobody him. knew. Him. Uh-huh. But this is a thing, and it's silent now for him. It's, you know what I'm saying? Silent. So it's like, like it's like this is a thing where, and I was, and it, it all first off, it all cracked off just because I was making it. I had to make that's it plain, I'm like okay. dog, we not on the same level, level. and that's mm. okay. Mm. Like I'm in my career at a unique space, and we gotta respect that. Like it's okay to understand that, even though I'm underground, bro. Like. I'm really, I got some stuff going on, and you know, even even if you think that bar for bar in your mind, young man, that we close, the work part of it yeah, is the complete nice. separation, and me saying that made them, you know what I'm saying, feel away, and they just got real loud, no, and kind of, di- and, and very disrespectful, and I had to yeah. really make it plain, like, yeah, like okay. I'm the guy, I say what I say <laughs> for a reason, I be, and, and also, I talk. A lot of shit, mm-hmm. and so it's gonna be natural that first off, he ain't gonna be the first or the no, last one. Know. Like uh-huh. it's so it's been. I done been. I mean, you prepared, so oh, you, you don't already even, know. And you don't even come with the territory. I'm so prepared. I know you are. Look, I'm so these prepared. These freestyles, you, you know, I'm these so back, prepared. backseat freestyles, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Spent, bro. Come on, man. Like, I'm so prepared for bro, it. Like, come on. I know you got shit in the clip. Like, yeah. Oh, it's. I mean, uh, like, it's locked so, and loaded. Like, look, 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 look. So, so y'all, so look, 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 I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued, but I, I gotta, I gotta ask, you know, I, I, I and you don't have to if you don't want to. And I may not know the person. Okay. Can we put a name on it? <laughs> oh, you want you? You I'm, only, if you I'm, I'm only not doing it to make a point. Say right, less. To make a point. Say to less. Make a point. Say less. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't even nothing personal. Say it's less. Just like. You know, say less. He was like, if you, if you know, uh, uh, nah, see, that, okay. and that's what I was explaining before. Okay, but I even put him on a T-shirt, and people still don't know the name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, still don't. And I even was telling him, like, now that, I was, and I kept telling him because I seen him at some point and his boys. I was like, you know, we we talking all shit, but I'm like, look, y'all did all of this, and y'all think whatever y'all want to think, but I can guarantee you, ain't gonna be nothing after this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that right. was the point in the beginning. And, mm-hmm. and I and I hope you do it. Ain't like I'm a hater. You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all go do something great, but living off my name ain't gonna cut it. I ain't got a big enough name for you to live off of. Mm-hmm. I can barely live off this love. So, <laughs> it ain't a big did enough y'all, name. Did y'all end up chopping it up or whatever? Well, I mean, y'all, it, just, it ain't like, y'all just let it, it be. It's, when it's rap, you know what I'm saying? Is, I think one was, thing is just rap. Okay. Just so rap. even if it's competitive, like, I do a good job of not making it that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, because again, that's it's, real. It's, it's severe consequences when you make it that. That's you know real. Saying? And so we don't need to make it that unless that's just what it requires. But the goal is for it never to require that. Like, this that's is real. rap. This is a competitive sport. And if it don't require to move over there, we don't got to make it that. Let's keep it competitive. Mm-hmm. But again, you know, sometimes you got to shut some shit up. That's what's up. Do you battle rap? No. Okay. Okay. No. Well. Okay. No. Can think, you? Um. Yeah, I, I think. I he think that. Like. Modest, I, I'm being. I'm being modest. honest. I think that. Like. I got modest such a stuff. huge. And I, I'm a avid battle rap watcher. Yeah. I love watching rap battles. And I just think that that is a unique talent to okay. be able to, especially like the biggest stages yeah. where them boys, you know, commanding them rooms and yeah. you know what I'm saying, like Man. all the timing and the, how they flip their words. Like I just think that. That's a sport and song. The same way most of them guys can't make music. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. most battle rappers not, not putting together no album that's them. like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And be, only because this is a, a certain set of skills you need. And I respect the game so much that I wouldn't like, you know what I'm saying? I understand that that's not my lane. Yeah. Now, again, when it comes to on wax though, sh- any day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking on whatever, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got all the paper on me. I'm betting the house on that. But as far as like... Trying to be on, you know what I'm saying, URL. 
not going. Like mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not doing that. But again, the same way you ain't seen Kendrick Lamar on no URL, but we seen what happened when he had to engage in battle. <laughs> right. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? So I will engage in that. That's right. that's my lane of battle rap. Like, yeah. but I'm not I, I'm not, uh, I don't think I got the, the skill. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's a unique skill set, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no. I got a lot of respect for it, a tremendous amount of respect for it, but mm. that's just not my, no, 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 I wouldn't do that. B-Magic, is B-Magic not from your way, is he? Not from the I'm not familiar with B Magic, so yeah. I don't know. Like I know I know the name, yeah. but I'm not too familiar with mm-hmm. B Magic. Yeah, yeah, he nice too. We got hey, everybody from the crib nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, we man, we got, got A game on this mug. No, 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 facts, 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 appreciate facts. you coming, bro. No, appreciate, appreciate you coming. Y'all, man. I appreciate yeah. y'all giving me a, you know opportunity to yeah. just you know expose myself to you know y'all platforms. Mm-hmm. Just, just people who follow y'all and pay attention to what y'all do. Not only. From the podcast perspective, but just y'all real life, you right? Know what I'm saying like who y'all are, and right. I think with all the things that we do, it all come down to like who you are. Who are you know what I'm right. saying like who are you? Like, right. You know what I'm saying, and, and if people respect you, you know what I'm saying, it could carry. So mm-hmm. again, I know it's gonna be people that you know, even just seeing a collab where they know y'all, they might know me. And be like, mm-hmm. oh man, I'm glad y'all yeah, did this. Yeah. They might be interested yeah. just off the strength. They're like, man, I wonder what they talked about. Right. So I'm th- I'm thankful for y'all. Yeah. I'm thankful for y'all. So. So in addition to the music, yeah, and we definitely gonna get back to the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But in addition to the music, yeah, I'm 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 gonna step on your toe about this. Yeah, thing. I know you there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause I'm I, glad. Cause I, 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 I just got some good answers for you. Yeah, yeah. cause I, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you got some yeah. other business ventures. Hustle City. Hustle City. Hustle City. Hustle City. So every this, this shirt, this this from the store, this this hat, this poser, uh, this my boy Jared, this his brand. Uh huh. Um, so. I got this. Yeah, 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 man. That joint nice. So, uh, they got some different colorways too. Okay. They yeah, yeah, them, yeah. Uh, pa- blues colorway. Yeah, Paul, yeah. Paul's a crazy. Yeah. He's a phenomenal uh, designer. Yeah. Um, but uh, so Hustle City, me and my brothers, we started it in the pandemic. So we was actually in like, uh, like a co-working space. We was in the basement of Tech Artista on the south side. Mm-hmm. Uh, like it was like a little pop-up, you know what I'm saying? But we oh, we, we made it. South. Yeah, yeah, we made yeah. it nice in an abandoned, basically a church. You know what I'm saying? But we was in that mud going hard. Like, it was like after, <laughs> we have after hours, you know, we we had like the daytime stuff, but we it'd be like a speakeasy at night where mm-hmm. we just kicking. We in there drinking till three, four in the morning, people just coming in, posting up. And it was fun. It was a vibe. But uh, my uh, mentor now, Jared, he ended up like, my brother was working with him. And for one reason or another, he saw something in what we had going on. It was like, hey, I want, he, he got sanctioned. Uh, mm-hmm. He uh, is the creator of sanction or whatever and for some reason he was moved to have us you know what I'm saying work together and so it's been it's been real real dope since then because now we in the foundry we was in like we, we moved locations inside of the foundry but we had an original store in the foundry then we moved across the street still in in the city foundry mm-hmm. but it's beautiful and uh nothing but local brands in there uh Thanks. High traffic environment, yeah. it's a consignment, but they making bread. You know they what I'm saying, and getting to make, and getting to make sales that they probably would not have made uh, prior to it. And as far as getting in there, so it's two things. Well, one, it's it's really an easy process. You just got to talk to my brothers and them. As far as like you know the the uh, what is it, apparel manager or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there's also a thing we do, like we do pop ups. So even if you're not immediately in store, because we used to just do it where it was too easy to get into the store, and we would just have like inventory that was sitting. Mm-hmm. But now the way that the process is, you do a pop up at first, mm. and then you get to sit in the store while. And we do sipping shops, peach vest mimosas on Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? So you get the ambiance, all of that. You get to post up and talk to the people, and get and we get to see how your product is gonna do. You so know that's what, I'm what you mean by getting. Get in. You talking about actually getting your brand into the store? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Like you yeah. actually yeah, get your I merchandise. To, uh, MC yeah, yeah, Trey yeah. about that one time. He he was telling me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come, process. come do the pop up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then after the pop up, we got a section for your merch to be in there. And then like the longevity of it in the store is just based on the, the results. The you results, know what I'm saying? Yeah. What does it do? That's results fair. or everything? That's fair. That's yeah, it's yeah. it's a very fair thing. Like, and yeah. it's, it ain't no favoritism. No it's just favoritism, and the right. cool thing, like, bro, this is Hustle City. Right. So you could, and I tell people this all the time, bro, you could come post up. You can po- come post come up. Come post up. Yeah. Like, so you can force the situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, sit down in this mug. It's traffic all day, every day. It's the foundry. Like, and it's popping right now. It's mm-hmm. only getting more and more popular by the day. Mm-hmm. So you can really come sit in that mug and just, ma'am, sir, hey, yeah. <laughs> this is what I got. 
and, and it's the cool thing is that people want to support. Mm -hmm. They be wanting to support. Like when you when you tell them, hey, this me and this what I'm doing, they ain't even necessarily got to like it and they might buy it, you know Facts. what I'm saying, off the strength that you had that conversation and they, they want to support. And now you got the funds to go to your next design. Mm -hmm. That's just naturally probably going to be better than the better. first one. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. So it's a good thing. And, and I think it's a, te it's a testament of who we really are, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. who, who I really am, who my team, you know what I'm saying, what we really getting down on. Because, again, yeah, I think, like, this is before, you know, there 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 is a feeling that we finna take this music thing to another level, and we doing this now. Oh, ain't you know? no feeling. It's going to happen. Yeah, so. Yeah. It, it, it's so, it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, look. Uh, yeah, I, it's going to happen. I'm very, I'm very confident, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Rand, Randall, but shout out to Nelly. He just followed me yesterday. You know what I'm oh, saying? Nelly, yeah, yeah. While we was in the middle of shooting the video, that's mm. hard, we bro. got the footage. I said, "Hey y'all, Delhi just followed me. What the? What? People be watching. Oh, no, People be watching yeah, and looking. You know what I'm saying, Delhi just followed me. Yep. Man, that's, that's crazy. Cool, man. But it's like you know what I'm saying. Like, but we doing this with nothing. You know what I'm saying. Like, we willing to give everything that we got with nothing. So imagine when we get it all. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, imagine when we get it all. Like, our city is gonna eat. Mm -hmm. We're gonna eat well, and you know what I'm saying like it's gonna be deserving. And we we hard workers, and it's like you gotta get you gonna whatever you eat, you are gonna deserve it. You know what right. I'm saying like yeah, uh, ain't yeah. no situation where people just gonna it ain't it because that don't exist anyway. Where people just getting so much for nothing like that right. don't exist. But like right. we are gonna definitely create opportunities for people to work right and, and to do more and to be more than what they was even expecting. Yeah, cool. But yeah, it's, it ain't nothing that, again. You know what I'm saying I know you said you got a brand, bro. It ain't nothing to do a pop up. Literally next month, uh, the last Friday, so we do game night. The last Friday of every month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going up every, every time. Well, I don't know up. nothing about this. So, yeah. so you can, if you want to be a vendor, if you want to like bring your product, you know what I'm saying? Post up and mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's nothing. Like that's easy. Yeah. That's easy. See, that's a cheat code for him though, because his shit popping. You know what I'm saying? I ain't making no noise. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't making no noise. He went humble on this. <laughs> I ain't well, making. I, mean, I, I, I ain't making no noise. I love well, humble. Well, honesty is key. To be <laughs> Ch crazy. Chase a part of the sanction too, ain't he? I just yeah, yeah, I, yeah, met, yeah. I met Chase. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know so, Chase. And, and this is the thing because they they they've like switched over like how the the business of it worked, and mm -hmm. I just don't know how much they've been uh, saying okay. about it. So I don't know. But yeah, no, Chase. It, it, okay, it was it's was Jared right. and Chase. Mm -hmm. okay. So Jared and okay, Chase, but they. Okay. They start changing the business, and I just don't know how not, much. Yeah. So I, you know, you know, know. I, yeah. I know what's going on. It's just that I don't know what I'm supposed to say, say and not, not say. Oh, I got you. That's I why, got like, you. I be trying. Yeah. I've been down there trying to trade lightly, but no, yeah. chase, chase that. Like he's yeah. now the only owner of it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. and so that's, that's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Chase my dog. It's yeah, just that I miss with Chase. Jerry is the one who brought me and us into the fold, right. mm -hmm. and then we just was able to build uh, even Off of that. exactly. You know what I'm saying? And now. Again, Chase, Chase, you know, that's our business partner, and shit, beautiful. Like, even just that, like, you know what I'm saying, being in a situation where uh, we collaborate in that manner, you know what I'm saying, and doing business on a high level, you know what I'm saying, like, and it's working, you know who what I'm else, saying? Um, that's that collaboration man, you're talking just, about. Who else collab uh -huh. with y'all? Is, is, is you? Is it MC? Yeah, so it's me, MC, MC Trey, is my yeah, brother, is it's my it's brother, uh, he go by M Blue. Uh, and then my Shorty? brother Tristan. Oh, okay. Well, Shorty, uh, Shorty got, we we, we we brought him into the fold. Yeah, we we tried Shorty to we tried to make it work. It didn't really. Uh, shout out Shorty. Shout out to Shorty. Shout out to Shorty. It just, it just didn't work. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, he wasn't, and we didn't understand what this thing really required. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's a busy dude. Man. Yeah, exactly. You know, and what it really required to try to build something like this, and so. The business part of it didn't quite, didn't yeah, it didn't quite work out the way that you know what I'm saying. Him. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it is what it is. It's not he, like a he popping. He got a lot of no love lost. Yeah, like no, 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 yeah. no. It just it just didn't all. work out. That's right. And that, and see, but that is where we gotta be with things. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. Like something like that could, you know, we tried. It didn't work out. Whatever. That, that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Moving forward. Yeah. yeah. No beef or nothing. Nah, like nah, that. nah, 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 nah. But we tried. These situations happen. Yeah. It ain't working out. Okay, cool. We still good. Yeah. You know we we tried though. I think that's yeah. the you gotta you know what they say, like you gotta get a little credit for trying. You yeah. Know yeah. You gotta get a little credit yeah. for yeah. actually trying. Because you don't never try, you don't never know. You exactly. Know. Yeah. Exactly. You not know. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But not yeah, know. saying that uh speaking of uh, the return, <laughs> uh that's what I was thinking when I you know what I'm saying, when I when I originally asked you, I was like, Man, what's up with the podcast? Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you bringing it back, or like what we got? You like, man, yeah, I think, yeah, I am, I am. 
I'm like, what about a co-host? You ever thought about having a co? Because at first, originally, I thought we was gonna do the uh, the cast. Mm-hmm. A whole cast like a yeah, yeah, you yeah. know a Barbara a rapper here yeah 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 a comedian mm-hmm. a, you know what I'm saying he was like yeah yeah he was good with it he was but you know I kind of knew like he wanted to do the co-host mm-hmm. that's where he was yeah and he you know what I'm saying we end up branching off of that or whatever yeah it worked out smart so, hey I'm glad yeah. y'all doing it I'm glad yeah. y'all doing it I yeah. still think the, the the cast would have been dope though I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think. I don't think nobody here is doing that. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at it, you got the cast like uh, Buttons, the Joe Buttons podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, like Gills Arena. Gills Arena. How they got. And I say it go, it go yeah. far, you know what I'm saying? Because when you add yeah. in all of these people who have these different networks. That's- we, we, that's, that's how I was thinking. We just getting back rocking, so oh, yeah. maybe yeah. in the it's future. Like and, and, yeah. it's like, and it's a lot of and it's a lot of moving pieces when you're on this level, right? Because yeah. yeah. this becomes an investment of time. Facts. You know, yeah. And time is money, Facts. and everybody don't got the time to spur to building something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And to sort of get everybody in the same place oh at the God. same time. And see, when, when, when this, Some, when sometimes we be tripping. Bro, oh, my God. <laughs> it's tough. Hey, we, all, we, we, we middle class <laughs> rapping it. <Don't>, we got, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but when we when we got it popping, I'm like, okay. I'm thinking about that in my mindset, like, bro, if we, you know what I'm saying, if it's difficult for us, I can just imagine, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying to get all mm-hmm. these different characteristics together yeah and it, it could almost uh, stop your progress because yeah. oh y'all are trying to get everybody together but because one person can't be there now you ain't gonna do it and now you ain't got nothing right. versus yeah, y'all man. just dealing with what you got and making that work and yeah. then you know somebody yeah. else might be like you know what i like that and y'all might be like hey we like you and it worked but it you worked. know i'm just glad that y'all started it and yeah, was like man. let's let's get it going he said yeah. that all the time i'm just glad we started i'm just glad yeah. we started but i Facts. just like how we jail like we bounce off each other so i think yeah. it's just it's perfect yeah yeah, yeah 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 you know if it ain't broke you know what i'm saying don't fix it yeah so that's how i feel about it yeah, yeah, yeah. so we gonna get back to the music now okay. i love the music um locally or nationally or worldwide or whatever mm-hmm. Who would you like to work with? Mm. Is there anybody you like to work with? Sexy. Uh, yeah, S- sexy. sexy. Big sexy. <laughs> Big sexy. Um, uh, I mean, you know, I got the usual suspects. Like, I, I want to bring a Jay-Z feature to St. Louis. You, uh-huh. know? you know what I'm saying? I want to bring that Jay-Z feature to the north side. I think that, you know, like, what? You know what I'm saying? I, nobody got the Jay Z feature. Man. Mm-hmm. Nobody, and that be mattering, right? Like when you get the Jay Z feature as a rapper, it's, it's almost like, how did you do that? And it's it's like it's known that you, you're one of the guys. Right. Like, you're not a guy. You're That's the cold. guy. That's right. Cold. Yeah. You want to? Like how you? Right. How you get with Jay Z? Exactly. Like you know what I'm saying? So I definitely like that's lifelong dream right there. Mm-hmm. For real. Um, of course. Then uh, locally. I really want to work with a lot of people locally. Um, you know, I wish that uh, you know, I would have loved to work with Jizzle Bucks before he he uh, got locked up. Um, random, this so Big random. Uh, you ever heard of Rockin' John? I yeah. have. Big he, bag of beans. He from my neck. <laughs> he from my neck. He from. Random, Pennsylvania. you would not know this fool smart as hell. He I was. Look, he graduated. He graduated from yeah, Harris he, Stone, he bro. Just graduated from Harris Stone. Okay. This shit is not, fucking bro. crazy. Okay. He just, he just graduated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that like, blew my mind when crazy. I heard that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't think it, but then I actually like. I was like, kind of like watching some of his uh interviews, and I was like, oh, this motherfucker's smart. Uh huh. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So uh, I will, I want to work with Rock and John. Um. It's uh this one little shorty that just she out the west side is like Big Step of Maury. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think See y'all know all I'm here to learn, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here for the education. Y'all tough. know all these people. I think she tough. Yeah. Um, um No, she is. Nah, my my young buck a look crazy, but I like Mo P. I like Mo P. Okay. Yeah, he's crazy. Um, but I uh I definitely would want to work with him. And again, mm-hmm. just I just think that like we just need to be working together. You know anyway, we just need to be working. Just together. do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I, and it's it's other people that I, I might have like reached out to or like tried to work with, and some of that stuff don't work out. So I won't really like mention it. 
Cause I feel like now at this point I done asked enough times yeah, where it's like it. yeah, it's like so now I don't even want to say it here. It was like yeah, oh yeah. no, I don't like really I I do want to work, but it's also sometimes where some people would be like bro, I done asked and I'm trying to make these things work and I can understand like either you don't see the value in it, you scared or you hating, don't know what it is, but there's something and so it's some people that I, I like. I want to work with because it just makes sense. It just makes sense. Mm -hmm. But like people don't it like doing sense. things that make sense. sense. So yeah. some things either won't happen or you know what I'm saying hasn't happened yet. But all in all, man, I, I really at this point it ain't too many people that I wouldn't work with. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Unless unless I feel like you know you on that side of, of the fence and we just it just um, we don't see eye to eye on things. But outside of that, bro, I, I really want to work with. Everybody, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like how you like, man, you know, everybody from the city tough. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and I think that taking that perspective, because one thing I learned recently when I, I've been like recording a lot of music and I had to realize, I was like, I can't dictate what other people going to think is tough. Nah. Mm -hmm. And I think like, you know, and I think when people get caught up in that, right? Where it's yeah. like, well, I don't necessarily think this tough. So like I mean, this person might, yeah, you don't exactly. know what they're going to think. Tough, Everybody so. got different mm -hmm. We just got to make the shit. Like right. we just got to keep cooking and like, Figuring it out, but like uh, again, it was so a lot of lot of different local local guys. But again, like again, but for for show for show, sexy. I like Mo P. I like uh, uh, Big Step of Mori. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the usual suspects like that's famous. But yeah, how, how of course. You feel about Poppy Tone? I'm just throwing somebody out there. You heard of him? Poppy tough. Poppy tough. Blow mob. Yep. We actually uh. Random hell is ago. We did a uh, competition together on the east side a long time ago. He won that competition, but like I did well in it, but he won that competition. He's been tough. Little Brody, nice. No, he tough. He's been nice for a long no, time. No, we need a song. We actually was supposed to do some music. Him we were supposed so, to do some music. So, crazy story, side story. My little brother is his producer. Yeah. And his name is Tone Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Tony Boy Beats or whatever. Yeah. Go by. But. Dude been nice like that. His whole time. Forever, bro. Whole like, time. He been nice since a, a young dude. He taught that street shit very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he to my knowledge, he used to write for uh RP uh, uh Huey, I believe. Mm. Yeah. First off, RP. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't no. know. Yeah, yeah. That that was one of his, they was real close or whatever. So okay. no, I would love to work with him. Dude, dude we need nice a tape. If you see this, we need a tape, brother. Yeah. We need a tape for sure for sure. You heard him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 for sure, for sure. And I'm like going to listen to it. A little three-piece, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Another three-piece. Nice. Yeah. No, I rock, I rock nice. with him. Yeah. It's just, that, that wasn't Girl, like... Said too, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Shout out Poppy Tone, man. No, 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 you tell me. Bro, Myron, you, could, you, you Hello, man, they could put it together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I'm going to definitely reach out. Yeah. I'm going to definitely reach out to him. Yeah. 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 And, and it's funny because he the type of person, he want to work with everybody. Yeah, That's what's yeah. up. But, but, you know, when you're that good... Sort of like yourself, he would be intimidated by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny. A, another side story. Him and Rome did something together, and it was another rapper. I ain't gonna say no name. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't gonna say. They didn't want to get on the track. Yeah. Because it's they, not like they, he already know they, who it they, is. They, they, I don't know, but I, but I know that. But I know that. I know that story too well of the person. Who don't want to do it for whatever but, weird reason? But Rome did it though. Yeah. See, this is how true Rome is. He went back. He had already filmed his, uh, recorded his uh, verse, but he heard Poppy joint and was. And like, I'm sure oh, he went off. He like, I gotta, I gotta record my. You know what I'm saying? I gotta re-record. Oh, uh -huh. like, I gotta re-record. That's the thing. You gotta take it serious the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop and pretending he, or playing like you know, like man. When you get on the court, you need to be trying to score forty. Right. Yeah. Don't get on her thinking just because we at O'Fallon Park or we at Fairground that you could just, you know, give me 15 and 5. No, nah, I need mm -hmm. 40. Facts. And if you're not trying to come drop 40, might might not be for you. Man, but most, most rappers, like, what happened, didn't get on the track wrong. He just, like, went back and re-recorded and stuff. And Damn. Back on the, no, but that's, but that's the he thing, like. like you're not finna kill me on here, bro. Dang. You're not finna get me, so he went back and recorded. But it happened, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. even the best, you know, Jay Z, and one of his most too. famous songs in Renegade. Half of the banter around it is that Man. Eminem supposedly Spons got off on him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Now, I don't agree. I think that Eminem went crazy, but I don't think he had like a superior situation. They was just equally yoked rappers at the time, and it was what it was. But like, right. shout out to being able to be willing to compete like that. Exactly. Right. 
Shout out to being willing to do and that. And people mm-hmm. don't give him that credit. Like, bro, he got on there. I'm exactly. Sure he didn't. He didn't switch shit up. He got on there and did his thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's dope to me. Yeah, yeah. That's but no, I'm, I'm willing to again. I'm willing to. You know what I'm saying? Compete with anybody, like, you know what I'm saying? And again, mm-hmm. but and obviously, and when I'm on these records, in the back of my mind, I'm competing. In the front of my mind, it's like, let's work, you know what right. I'm saying? But I always want to be the best, like, that's right. just natural. It's just that's natural. It's a natural thing. I'm yep. trying to score 40 every game. Right, right. Okay. I'm trying to do that at 40. <laughs> It'd be a struggle, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, take my IB Pro. Go, get him, go, get him. <laughs> go. So, <laughs> now. But what you um, what you got coming up? What's 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 new? What's yeah, yeah, yeah. what you working on now? Uh, touring, doing a lot of touring. Mm-hmm. Uh, just booking booking shows. Uh, dropping a lot of music, a lot of content. Again, like the way I'm doing it. This one, I'm not putting it out. You know, what I'm saying for free, you got to buy this. But I'm putting out a lot of other stuff that'll put you towards wanting to buy this. We mm-hmm. actually, me and me and uh, MC Trey, we finna drop a tape called Starsky and Hutch. Uh, we just we just filmed the first single Ooh. cousins yesterday. That video, race. Like when y'all see that, that that one right there, I think it, it could very well. I ain't gonna say it's gonna be career defining, but it's definitely gonna feel like, oh, he's our independent or he's our underground guy right now. Like mm-hmm. he's the guy, and on our underground scene that's making waves. That like it, it feel, you know, because everybody, you know, when everybody got to, everybody be having a moment where it feel like, hey. If he keep doing whatever he doing, right. he could go to the next level. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, everybody career shake out how they shake out, but we going to go there. Like, one, once it start bubbling and it get too obvious, like, we going to the next level. Like, mm-hmm. it is what it is. But, yeah, but overproduced. Yep, yep, overproduced. Yeah, overproduced. Starsky Hutch, man. He's like, awesome. another three-piece we putting out, another three-piece, which we got a lot of records, but we just putting out three. Keep it simple. Bing, bang, boom. Get it out of there. My man, Akita. Tyson, though. Yeah, me and Akita Keys, uh, the, the the executive producer for this, uh, we finna drop a project too. Uh, me and Tika, we just shot the lead single from that. It's called "Stop Asking Me If I Still Rap." Uh, you know, cause people do. You know what I'm saying? Like when you when you ain't made it, you know, mm-hmm. people try to slight you all the time. You know what I'm saying? And ask you stupid ass questions like, "You still rap?" Mm-hmm. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I fucking rap. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. I know you follow me. Like, right. I know. You know, like, it's all I do. It's all I post. I ain't po- I ain't had no babies yet. I ain't had a girl. I, 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 I got a girl right now, but you know that's on that's on the quiet. Like, but I ain't posting that. Right. This is all I'm posting. You mm-hmm. just seeing raps, just raps and raps. Come on, brother. I know what it is, but nah. But me and the kid finna drop that. So stop asking if I still rap. I was saying we about to, we about to drop nothing but heat though. Just like I keep saying overproduce, man. Overproduce. Just yeah. a lot of content. Be you that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy to me, dude. You know what I'm saying? Or, or they just ask or they just all this buzz shit going on. You gonna ask me some stupid shit? Yeah, like, like yeah. Or they or they do the what's up with the music thing? Uh huh. Like, oh brother. Uh-huh. Oh brother. <laughs> keep like. dropping content. After yeah. Content after what you was, I cut and, you off, yeah. but I'm gonna say it for you. Content after content, yeah, after, and that's what we on. Overproduce, we, yeah. we over, we we on it. I like that word. Yeah, yeah. shout out to my, my 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 big homie Hill. He was the Ooh, one who. Uh, Derek. 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 Hibbert. Derek. Hibbert yeah. Sports. Oh my god, yeah, that's my brother, man. That's my brother, my big homie. Yeah. He actually, you know, and it's funny, like when I when I make, make my shout way, out Hill, man. Yeah, shout out to him, man. When I make my way through the industry, you know, it's people like him who I had a credit just because, like. At a particular moment of my career, we was really work, work, working closely together, and he would just take me around to the clubs, and Cause he, cause you know they, what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I, bro, I'm gonna take y'all. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm gonna take y'all. Uh oh, and you know, cause you know, you looking lost, Reggie, but you know who Hib is. I do. You know who Hib is. Okay. Back in the day, and it's funny because uh, Rome, full circle in this conversation, in this. In this podcast, he used to be a part of this street team they had back mm-hmm. in the day. Mike, it was Mike and uh, Hill. Yeah. It was called uh, Don't Let Me Lie to You. It was called, no, I know what it was called. It was called uh, uh, Dang. Dynasty. Dynasty. Oh, yeah. Dynasty. Yep, yep. I was going to say The Rock, but no, it was Dynasty. Uh-huh. They, had a, they had a street team back in the day. When I say, bro, this is when Limelight was popping. 
Candela's, uh huh, the Sheldon, yeah. college party, college party, man. You know what I'm talking about. I'm, if you see him, you be like, oh, yeah, yeah. oh I'm pretty God. sure. Okay, he, he one of them guys. When I say, bro, okay. they used to have it cracked. I wanted to be a part of this street team so bad, bro. I used to always ask Rome, <laughs> man, give me, give me, a, <laughs> bro, give me, give me like a like a, a interview with them, like. <laughs> Cause Mike, his his dad was they family owned the liquor, liquor store in, in my in Paysdale, in my hood or whatever. DDT. Yeah, DDT. Shout out Mike, man. But and that's my dog. Yeah, dog. They they had the liveest street team, bro. Like I don't know. In the that's parties, what? the college parties, over, bro. They they had the um, liveest team over the uh, Omega Squires. Really? <laughs> that's crazy. Now that's that's lit. I used to want to be a Mega Squire. I ain't gonna even lie to you. No, no, I I I had to agree, bro. They street team was crazy. That's bro. what's up. Like, bro, and we was young then, but they was older, always yeah. older. Uh huh. But bro, they used to get it cracking, bro. Yeah. Like they had a vibe, bro. Like everybody nah, wanted to be on their street team, bro. Nah, he's a man, man. Shout out, what's his name? Hill. Hill. Shout out, Hill. Mike, Shout out to Hill. Mike and Hill. No, yep. he, 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 like, that's my guy. We talk all of the time, and, you know, we, we had came up with the well, – he he put it in my – like, just overproduction, just overproducing, and just keep putting it out more, 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 and more, and more. But, no, he had, he, had, he was just – He's influential like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, talk about, like, through the clubs. Like, so that's, like – this game, you know what I'm saying, like it's complicated but it's simple. You know what I'm saying? And one of the things is like you gotta be outside. You gotta you be gotta with the be people. Outside, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Like I'm a I I yeah. I'm a I've been in the marquee. I'm a I was in that mud, you right. feel me? Like getting my records played or going to the strip clubs or you know, just doing all of the different things that are part of this job. So I learned all of those things coming up so that when we really get our time, like, you know, what I, one thing I learned about Nelly, they said like I, I thought that for some reason, you know, Nelly just this big star and it was lucky and he just got it. But then you learn a story and they're like, no, he Backstory, worked. Bro, he like, worked. They say yeah. he went to every appearance. He was at all of the radio stations. Every. He was out working I, everybody. He was out working everybody. Yeah, bro. see, I didn't like, know how, that. How, you, how can you shun that? And that's why it makes sense you know why saying? he was so big. Like, exactly. he didn't just accidentally sell all of these. He was everywhere. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, yeah, he might have had a star quality, but this is, this is, go back to Sexy Red. One of the reasons why Sexy Red is so successful is because she is working her ass off. Mm -hmm. She ain't just no. dirt. She is working. She doing all the appearances, Man. all of the clubs, all of the this, all of the that. All and that means, all, yeah, so like, it, it add up. Yeah. It add up. You know what I'm saying? So when we get our opportunity, we out of here. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. out of here. But right now, it's just overproduction. It's even if, you know what I'm saying, like, it may be thankless immediately. I know eventually, you know what I'm saying, it's a compounding thing, you know what I'm saying? I keep drop I drop this and then that and then this and then that and you saw me over here and then you saw me over there and then what? I saw him yeah, oh, like that's, again. That's but I did too, I did another interview today. Like I'm talking about overproduction, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The word again, it's gonna be very, very tough to not see me. Like very tough You're and taking it back yeah. though, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's 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 the heyday type yeah. of grind, yeah. like Early heyday rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this, this, this gonna have to be on. Like in order to in order to be a guy moving forward, it's just gonna be like this because it's too much. It's oversaturated. Right. So in order to stand out, you gotta be out here with the people. You know what I'm saying? Shaking right. hands, kissing babies, and just building genuine connections to where it ain't like you know what I'm saying. Like you just doing it because of whatever you can gain. It's like no, nah, like well we because we real people. You know what I'm saying? Like so it's all it's about all the other things too. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like the moments that we have outside of it is like again you know you doing a pop up at the store and you know me extending my resources to you know what I'm saying to you and right. things of that nature. Versus, like, you know what I'm saying, just coming in, you know, leeching off the platform. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's mostly like, no, what can I do to help your situation? And being known for that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, because that, that, that's going to, when I'm gone, you know what I'm saying, not meaning gone, gone, but I mean, like, when I'm physically not in the room and what people say about me really matter, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and, and what they, when they like, no, I actually like this dude. I, I appreciate who he is. And, I actually like you know, this dude. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. But that, that matter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that matter, but. Right now, just overproducing, man. We project yep. after project, single after single, freestyle after freestyle. I am working out uh, on a tour with Rhapsody. Ooh. I put a big down payment on it. I'm waiting on the confirmation. I'm waiting on the confirmation, but I did. That's I, major, I, I put down a big down payment on it. Yeah, it's just that you know, I, I'm trying to. I'm just waiting to be too excited until like the all of the the ink is dry all of the way. But I did put a big down payment on it. They saying this like I'm just waiting on their management to approve it. So everything work out, it'll be a three city tour. 
uh, Chicago, Seattle, and Portland. Um, See, that's the shit you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's going to be, of- it, it, it work out, you know, it'll be big, you know what I'm saying? All of the marketing that I can do with that ahead of time mm-hmm. and afterwards, afterwards and during, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's a lot of that. And, and then ideally, you know, you do three cities with somebody, hopefully I'm able you, to shake the right work, hand, you, you know what I'm saying? Bro, so. Yeah, so... That may lead you somewhere else. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to lead somewhere. Now, yeah, where cool. it leads, you never know. Yeah. And, and, but, and you got to do that in this game. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, that, that type of stuff, it may get you everything and more. It might get you exactly what you came for. It might get you less than what you came for. Mm-hmm. But you got to go do that shit. You, you got to. So you know. So you know. You now to. I did it. Now yeah. you can't tell me nothing because I know. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying, I know what to do next time if it didn't go well or – I got everything I needed and more. It's like, man, I'm so glad I did that. But yeah, like I, uh, but it's funny. I like, you know, I wrote my little uh, plan of like what I was gonna do to like make middle class raps take off or you know get me in a better position and op- and touring with a major artist or being support for a major artist was literally on my list. And I just happened to look at it the other day, maybe like a month or so ago. And then I went to this uh, like it's a company called uh, Shine Healy. Uh, definitely another thing that artists should know about. Um, I, but, know, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but Sean Healy, yeah. he got this platform where he, I mean, he's, it's as plain as day. Anybody could do it. Uh, but it's there. It's like these are the different dates that's available that you could be a, a supporting cast, uh, a supporting act on. And Rhapsody was up there, and I was like, uh, me, hello, hello. Can I can I get that? Can I get that? And, and again, but again, this is why I was going back to selling the product. And and I got two revenues or avenues that support me as an artist. One is right. people like yourself supporting me in this manner, and then it's the college shows. Mm-hmm. And th- those two things, getting money in those two situations, and, and my job, but like you know, bills, bills, bills. But having the money that's coming from rap Outside is it, allowing yeah. me when a moment like that popped up. I could put down that bread. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, see, that's how you invest in yourself, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you flip what you invest in yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that's again. what that's for. Yeah, yeah. I ain't finna you know go, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Drake them, but I'm not going to pop no bottles at the marquee right now. I'm trying mm-hmm. to be a famous rapper. You right. Right. Like, I'm trying to be famous that's rapper, real. You know what I'm saying? So right. me going to play Bottle Wars with the boys ain't going to cut it. That's you know real. Saying? Like, yeah. That's I'm real. On tour, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like putting that bread up and going to do things that's going to make people proud and make them want to keep investing in what I got going on and, and seeing that, you know, this could be a, a, a real thing. Well, right. it's already real, but again, it's levels to this. And I'm levels. I'm very, I'm very uh, honest about the fact that, like, I am where I am. I know, like, it is what it is, but it ain't what it ain't. Mm-hmm. Right? And, I'm, and I'm aware of that. Mm-hmm. I'm aware of that. So, man. shout out to God, man, and hopefully we get this Rhapsody oh, yeah. taken care of. And, yeah, and, man, and, it's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to speak it into existence. It's going to happen for oh, sure. You know, so... We done went a little over, but I don't really care. Man. I'm enjoying every I'm, second I'm, of yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, man. I appreciate you know, y'all. So, I appreciate y'all. Um, I'm just kind of wrap it up. Yeah. Um, tell the people how they can find you. Tell yeah, them, yeah. you know, where to yeah, yeah, yeah. cop so, the tape from, so your social you can, media platform. Whenever you see me in person, you can buy this. You know what I'm saying? Just You got any on deck? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah. got you. Um, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can buy I'm, I'm sorry. Let me purchase one. Right. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank okay. you, brother. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah, let me, oh, purchase, appreciate let me that. purchase one. I'm sorry. Black people, we feel yeah. like we can't purchase it from each other. Oh, no. We always got to have a discount. Yeah. I don't need none of that. Like, it's yeah. okay, because you buy from the white people, not yeah. nothing against white right, people. Right, but it is what it saying. is. Like, we got to support each other. Yeah, Ain't absolutely. nothing wrong with you charging mm-hmm. for your music. Right. And also, be free willingly wanting to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you can buy the album. <clears throat> um... I'm saying uh, it's a game STL on all uh, like all the social medias. A game on you know what I'm saying like the di- distribution platforms. But uh, yeah, man, just kidding. YouTube, yeah, a game. Yeah, 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 man. Yep. We a little bit everywhere, but really, yep. I'm gonna be honest. I- I'm putting all my emphasis like on my Instagram and then in my real life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying like it's so many damn platforms. Like so many. It-, it get exhausting a little bit. You know what I'm saying that shit right. get exhausting. So. I'm putting all my energy and effort into man. You gotta see me in the streets. You yeah, know what I'm saying yeah. like see yeah. me in the streets. Like, yep. Speaking Pet. of seeing you in the streets, what you got tonight? You got yeah. We're gonna go to Paint Louis. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Finna go. You know, keep keep getting on these stages and just proving yeah. my point. Why you know what I'm saying? I'm the underground king of St. Louis rap right now. You know <laughs> talk it. Okay. Talk it. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah, these boys can't. Y'all can't out talk me. You gotta outwork me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. facts. Gotta outwork me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bro, Myron, you got anything else? You, he, see, he, we, we covered it, man. 
He went, yeah, what's the name of the show? It. Let's talk about it. Talk about he it. came on and talked about well, it. Well, I appreciate y'all. Man, I appreciate you coming, bro. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. Love, bro. We're going to definitely run it back. Absolutely. Yeah. I was just telling somebody, like, with with, the, with our platforms here, it can't be, like, a one-off. No, no, it has right. to be, like, no, we yeah. keep it going say it six months going. from now, I did yeah. whatever I done done. All right, let's yeah. talk about it again. New. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be something new. new. Yeah. So you know, we got to, you know what I'm saying, keep it going. Yeah. We got to yeah. keep it going. And, like, so, yeah, you know, yeah, bro. But I think we we in a unique time, man, where we, as a as a city, Somebody, this, this uh, young lady named Cammie Cruz, and I, I, I'll end my portion with this. She said, and it was true, she said, the next 10 years, St. Louis can either be one of them premier towns, and we, well, she compared it to like a Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? One of them places that people want to go to, go and they want to travel to, because they done heard so much Bless. about it. Mm -hmm. So I just got to go see what this, this little, you know, this little random town of St. Louis yeah. is about, what they got going. We could be that. We could be a town that don't nobody give a fuck about, mm -hmm. and so and so whatever the, the that. thing, the things that we do in these next ten years, bro, it's pivotal. Pivotal. It's pivotal that yeah. we we come together and we get aggressive and we get intentional about what we putting down. Like, and mm -hmm. I think we can. Like, I don't think that it's gonna go the opposite direction. I think that we gonna turn our city up and become exactly what we always known that we could be. Mm -hmm. you know and I, I think that it's possible. Yeah. So. Again, I appreciate y'all. No, I appreciate you as well, man. And I've definitely became a fan just like that. I appreciate you. You know, I'm going to check out everything I need to check out. And you, you will got not my, be disappointed. I'm sure I won't. You will not be disappointed. You know, and you got my um, utmost support, man. I appreciate so, that. So soon as you make it, because you're going to make it, and you're going to be high. Mm. You know, we could talk about it again. Yeah, we will. And, we, yeah. and, 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 but, and that's going to be the difference, though. Man. The difference maker is going to be, like, I, people be like, uh, they get on and try to isolate themselves. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro, you gotta stick with what's going on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? These are our people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, and, and it's, a, it's it, like for rap, your hometown gotta love you. Mm -hmm. It gotta be unconditional. Mm -hmm. That's why sexy where she at, cause the hometown don't. Again, no matter what, we don't play. We don't play. We don't play about sexy. You know what I said, man? Like. Well, whoever St. Louis, I'm, I'm vouching for Yeah, like, we don't play. They from the crib, I'm vouching for them. Cardinals ain't had a black player, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't give a damn. <laughs> we Cardinals out. Yeah, you facts. Crib, facts. Support you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, so. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, man. Yep, Appreciate so, y'all, man. Yeah, man. This uh, Retro Reggie, bro Myron, man. A-game STL, man. And we going to wrap it up, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow my guy on all his platforms, A Game STL. Cop the music, yeah. check out the content, everything, man. Love, we out.